Hello, everyone, and welcome to this presentation of four techniques for trading in a bull market. Now, these techniques I'm going to be sharing and revealing to you today are not actually predictive techniques where they don't tell you when a bull market is going to begin or end. But once you are in it, so many people many times will miss the beginning of a bull market. So th these techniques have an early warning system of telling you once you are actually in a, a bull market before most of the crowd actually even knows. For example, if we look at this chart here in this example of the uh, Dow Jones industrial chart, I'm going to show you how just by sequencing out about six or seven bars here with this particular technique today, you would have known that the trend was up and this was actually the start of a very nice upward move in the Dow Jones industrial average. So this promises to be a great presentation. Welcome once again. My name is Stephen Primo. I am the president and founder of Specialist Trading. And for those of you who are new to my presentations that I give on a weekly basis, we are all about educating you as a trader because it's our belief, our philosophy that the reason why most traders fail, upwards of 80% of all traders fail, is because you're giving your power away. You're basically relying on someone or something else to tell you how to trade. So I ask this of you. I mean, look at your own trading. This is the way I first started trading, and this is the way most people trade. You rely on someone or something to tell you how to trade. Do you go to a signal service every day to find out what the best stock or future is to buy or sell? Do you rely on someone else's time frame? They say this is the best time frame to trade, you know, weekly or inter interday charts. Uh, do you rely too much on the news that will, uh, you know, uh, pronounce each and every trade you have so that you can't do anything until that news comes out, news event comes out? Or how about somebody on TV, some supposed trading guru or some, uh, uh, you know, pungent on TV who has a nightly show and tells you what he likes in the market? See, this is the way, once again, most people trade. And I'm saying it from firsthand experience, not to be arrogant or condescending, but I'm saying it because this is the way I used to trade. When I first started nearly 40 years ago, my trading was like this. And guess what? I couldn't make a dime. I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for 16 years, and nine of those years I was a specialist. A specialist is a person who made actually made markets in stocks. And I used the same thing in my personal trading that the majority of people use today, and it didn't help. I, I didn't know if I was going to be on the floor much longer. It wasn't until my mentors turned my way of trading around that I was able to ultimately uh, you know, become a consistent trader. And so this is what I do. I, in my nearly four decades of trading, I've accumulated a ton of information, a ton of different techniques and trading strategies that have stood the test of time, that have a high level of success in terms of consistency. So this is what I mentor and teach all my students, the things I currently use and the things that I've found in nearly 40 years of trading that have consistency. I know what works in terms of consistency and I know what doesn't. So this is what I uh, try to instill on all of my students. Now, today I'm going to share with you four great techniques that you can start applying to your own personal trading as early as today, once we conclude. But as always, we are required to show you our disclaimer. So please take a moment to view this. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results using these four techniques. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I am about to share with you will be repeated in the future. So please take a moment to view our required disclaimer. And as you're taking a moment there to view it, uh, I would also like to take this time to invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. If you haven't done so already, this is our handle right here at SPCLSTTRADG. You may want to uh, write that down because each and every day I post new information anywhere from little daily uh, tidbits of financial wisdom to actual signals that our strategies have generated. So there's a lot of great information on there. So feel free to follow us on Twitter. Now, before we begin, once again, I just want to stress that we are first and foremost an educational company. And you will see that today by how much attention I give to detail to really trying to make you understand and to put the power back in your hands. So as you see here, my goal is not to force feed you signals. We're not a signal service. My goal is not to tell you what the perfect market is to trade or what the perfect time frame or stock to buy. That goes against our philosophy. Our goal is to teach you so that you can ultimately empower your own self with all of these things that you've learned that I've given you. And then hopefully you'll be able to make your own decisions and get onto that road to consistency. This is what turned my trading around over 35 years ago. Hopefully it can turn your trading around as well. Now, since this is a class and since I am your instructor for today, I want to take questions from each and every one of you. But as always, I prefer to take them at the very end. We have a lot of slides, a lot of information to share with you. And many times if we stop after each and every slide, we, we slow down the uh, presentation tremendously. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
So I want to make sure that everyone is, uh, you know, seeing all the slides. And so let's just wait till the very end of the class to ask questions. Okay. The only question I will answer is the more popular one out of all of them. And that is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. We record all of our presentations. So if you have technical difficulties or if you have to leave early or something of that nature, uh, you can contact Pro Trader Strategies and they will send you a link to this recording. Okay. All right. So keep the questions till the end. And why don't we begin? We're going to start with four techniques for trading in a bull market. And we're going to take it step by step once again, so you can really absorb this and grasp these concepts for your learning. All right. Here are the techniques. Always plot the 50 period moving average. Now, I know these techniques are going to appear very simple and very basic, but trust me, I use these in my trading each and every day. All right. It doesn't matter how simple it is. In fact, I found in nearly 40 years that it's the simple things that work better than the more complicated ones. So what I want you to do is regardless if you trade tick charts, five minute bars, weekly or monthly bars, always have a 50 period moving average plotted on your chart. Doesn't matter, uh, you know, what market, doesn't matter what time frame, it doesn't matter what direction. We want to plot the 50 because as we look in this example right here, here's how it's going to help us. And it's going to help us to go long if we're in a bull market. Someone looking at this chart here, this older chart in STZ would say, well, Steve, this is a really, uh, you know, crazy market. It goes straight up and then straight down. And I really have no idea what it's doing. So I'm going to stay out of this thing. There's no, there's no uh, idea of what the trend is. It's not true because once you apply the 50 period moving average, you ask yourself, where is price in relation to that? And obviously price is above. Okay. So if price is above, well, guess what? The overall trend is up and that means you'll only be looking for buy setups. It's that simple. See how you know what side of the market to be on now. Okay. I think one of the biggest reasons why most traders fail is because we're always trying to pick tops and pick bottoms. And so most of the time, you're selling when price is above the 50 and you're buying when price is below. And it's the exact opposite. If price is above the 50, as you see here, you should only be a buyer. That doesn't mean just buy at the market. You, sh you have to have some structure, which we're going to go into later on. In fact, the very uh, next uh, technique is applying a little bit of structure. But it just tells you the right side of the market to be on in terms of consistency. Now, the reverse is true. As we see here in Apple, someone looking at this would say, well, Steve, boy, I mean, I love Apple. I'm a big Apple trader. I'm an Apple investor. And, you know, the blog I go to says that there's major support right here. I know we've been coming down a little bit, but this is where all the institutions are buying it. This is where the support is. It's being, uh, you know, confirmed by the volume. Uh, all the chat rooms I go to love Apple. And so I'm going to try and pick up some stock here. OK, you see how overcomplicated you're making your trading decisions. And plus, they're all based off what someone or something else is telling you what to do. Let's see what the market is telling us to do. OK, because that's where you should only get your decision making process from the market, not someone else. What the market's telling us is if it's below the 50 period moving average, the overall trend is down. So do we want to buy if the overall trend is down? Obviously not. That would be like saying, do we want to swim upstream if uh, you know we're going against the current? No, we want to swim with the current at our back. And it's the same way trading. The only trouble is most of us are taught the opposite. And that's why most of us fail. So in this example, I don't care what the institutions were doing. I don't care what some guy in a chat room is saying. I'm only going to look for selling opportunities in Apple, regardless of what strategy or technique I use. All right. So that is technique number one. Technique number two, buys must close in the top 25% of their range. So what does this mean? Well, regardless of what strategy you use, could be one of mine, could be one of yours, something that you purchase from someone, it doesn't matter. But once you have initiated a buy signal, whatever bar that's initiated off of, that bar must close in the top 25%. Okay. And we say, well, why does it have to close there? Because it's an edge. It's a clue coming from the market that it wants to go higher. So that's a, a nice edge to have coming from the market. It's giving you a clue that it will most likely continue in that direction. All right. So if we look here, here's our chart in STZ again. We're looking for buy setups and here's a bar that closes in the top 25% of its range. Okay. So if you wanted to buy it, here's a good place to start. Of course, you need a little bit more structure, but as we look at all the other examples here, there were no bars that closed in the top quarter of their range. 
other than this one. Now here's a, an interesting example as I look back here. Here was a bar that closed in the very top 25% of its range and look what happened two days later. I'm not promising or guaranteeing that this happens all the time, but do you see how it is a really nice edge? Go back and do some homework. Look at any chart, any time frame, and you'll see that most of the time if you're above the 50 and price closes in the top 25% of its range, price will continue in that direction. Now conversely, if you are, that's a buy signal, by the way, by one of our strategies. Now, conversely, let's say our price is below the 50 period moving average, the way Apple was, all right? Well, sales must be in the bottom 25%. So let's say you, you know, you come to grasp this concept of buying and selling above and below the 50 period moving average. Okay, let's say you get it now. You still have to have it confirmed by a bar that closes either in the top or bottom 25%. In this case, it needs to close in the bottom because we're going short. So as we look here in our chart of Apple, well, we see here is a bar that closed in the bottom 25%. Look what happened. Here's another one. Look what happened. Now here's one. It didn't, nothing really happened much. In fact, it went up, but then it came back down. And we at last have one right here again. And this, by the way, generated a sell signal by one of our premier strategies, which I'm going to be talking about later on today. Okay. So now we've added a little structure. We know what side of the market to be on. And now we go to the fourth and most important technique of them all. This is always confirm your trades in terms of the short term path or direction with the pet D. Now, if you haven't heard me talk about this before, I swear by this tool. I've been using it for over 30 years. I use it every day. I was using it this morning for trading prior to uh, giving this presentation. And what the PETI is, it was something I was introduced to on the floor. We used to call it the formula at the time because it was a formula we had to, you know, do by ourselves. It was a handwritten formula and we weren't able to use it for intraday trading because by the time you completed that bar's formula for the next bar, it was time to, to get ready to continue and go on to the next bar and complete that bar's formula because it takes each and every bar and it translates what the short-term trend is. This formula is so attuned to what the market wants to do short-term. This is how many times in advance you will know well before anyone else what the market wants to do. It works in any market, any time frame, any direction. And what we've done now, instead of giving you the formula and telling you, well, here's what you have to calculate because it is rather cumbersome and can be uh, a little bit complicated. What we've done is, We've programmed it into a color bar tool. So if you ask what is the pet D, it's simply a, uh, well, first of all, it's not a system nor a strategy. It's a color bar tool based on momentum that is designed to show you in advance when a trend has most likely begun. And what a great edge. And remember, this is not a tool, an outside source telling you how to trade. This is simply a, a, a tool that translates what the market wants to do. Once again, remember, we're taking all our signals from the market not from some guy in a trading room, not from some guy on TV, but from the market, what the market is telling us. So since the market doesn't have a voice, we need tools to translate what it's telling us. And this is what it's telling us through the pet D. So as we see here in this older example of HRB, now someone trying to find a trend would usually say, well, you know, I wait for a, a short-term high to be broken out of, and that's where uh, I know that we're uh, in a trend. I don't trust it yet because it could easily just roll over. So at this point, we break out of that little short-term uptrend or top here. So you say, okay, it's safe to jump in. This is probably consolidating. I'm going to buy somewhere around here on this pullback, and it's probably going to go up and make higher highs. So you jump in and buy somewhere around this area, and then look what happens, okay? Does that look familiar to anybody, okay? That's usually the way we get into trades. We ultimately buy a, a day late and a dollar short in the same way with selling. So what if there were a tool that could oftentimes tell us in advance well before the market started to turn where everyone else knew that it was obviously going in a certain direction. Well, all you have to do is add the pet D. And once you add the pet D, you see that well before this stock started going up, we were already colored green well back here. So we knew we were going to be going higher. And well before we fell out of bed, we were already having bars colored red. So this was our signal that most likely the trend has changed. It's about time to get out. And you would have been able to get out well before the bottom fell out. So 
do you see what a great tool this is? This is not a predictive tool. It's not telling you how far the market would go. It's not a signal service. It's not telling you to buy or sell because the bar is green or red. It's simply translating which direction the market wants to go. Then you add some structure, which I just taught you in terms of the 50 period moving average, as well as where the bar closed in the top or bottom 25% of its range. You see how we're starting to get a plan now on how to trade with uh, bull markets. And remember I showed you that chart at the very beginning of the industrial average. Well, someone would have said, how would you have known that the market was going to go that high? Well, we didn't know it was going to go that high, but we knew we were in an uptrend. And how did we know we were in an uptrend? We added the pet D. And look at here. These six bars, these six daily bars, were more than enough information we need to know that we're in an uptrend. Now, until we had consecutive red bars, you know, anywhere from three to five, we're going to assume the market's going higher. Why? Because our translator, the color bar tool PET D, is telling us the market wants to go higher. So we just, our job is just to add some structure and jump on board. And the Dow rose 2,000 points in two months. Okay. See how simple that is? You don't have to try and decipher economic news. You don't have to look at support and resistance or Fibonacci retracements. That's too complicated. They're, those things work for maybe about 5% of the trading public. But for the rest of us, the 95%, myself included, it's very difficult to make those things work. They're very difficult to discern because they're so subjective. We want things that are cut and dry. If you see anywhere from three to five green bars, that's it. You know you're most likely going to be going higher. If you see anywhere from three to five red bars, well, that's it. You know, most likely the trend has changed and you're going to be going lower. Now, it's your job to use some structure to jump on board in the direction of what the market wants to do. And that's what we teach and, and give to all our students at Specialist Trading, the techniques and the structure that I've accumulated that have high levels of consistency. All right, so how do we trade with the PET-D? So how can the PET-D help us if we want to get a little bit more specific? Remember, you can apply any strategy. Let's say you have a strategy right now that is okay. Maybe you purchased it, maybe you devise it yourself, and you're not, you know, 100% happy with it, but it's, it's okay. It works some of the time, enough to keep you going, okay? I think by adding the PET-D, you can greatly increase your odds for consistency. Here's how you do it. For a buy confirmation, for a, uh, you know any type of buy signal, if your strategy generates a buy signal, whatever it's based on, we don't care. Even if it's based off news or the full moon, it actually doesn't matter. The pet D must color it green, meaning must color that bar that the buy signal has generated green. So let's say a news event comes out, you know, and it's done by that day. That pet D must be colored. Uh, that bar must be colored by the pet D green. Okay. So let's look here at the example. And once again, STZ, by the way, this was one of our uh, pertinent uh, strategies as well that gave a strategy buy signal. All right. Now, everything falls into place. It's a nice buy signal, but we want to confirm it to give us that added level of consistency and confidence. So we add the pet D and we see that the bar is green. Okay. doesn't matter what the bars were previous to it. As long as that bar is green, that's given us the confirmation to go ahead and take the trade. All right. So we have the, we're above the 50 period moving average. We close in the top 25% and the bar is green. So this is a really strong setup and the stock went up eight points in the next two weeks. Okay. See how simple that is. There's no overthinking. There's no overcomplicating. There's no trying to figure out what news events or earnings are. You just look at what the market wants to do. All right, let's say you get a sell signal. Let's say your price is below the 50 period moving average. Let's say you close in the bottom 25%, regardless of whatever you want to base your sell signal off of, okay? Whatever bar that generates a sell signal, the pet D must call it that red because that's giving you the confirmation, the confidence to go short. So as we see here, once again, in Apple, this is one of our strategies that actually generated a sell signal. But to give us that added level of confidence, we add the pet D. And we can see here that virtually every bar has been colored red. Now, all we need is for the signal bar to be colored red, but it's an even more added uh, layer of confidence to know that all bars have been red and Apple fell 13 points in the next month. OK, so this is what we mean by listening to the market and not outside sources, putting the power back in your hands so that you can empower yourself. When our students use these techniques and tools, most of them stay with us for a couple of months, and then once they learn how to apply them properly to, to fit their needs, whatever market or time frame that they choose, 
uh, they're on their own. There's no reason to come back. There's no reason to, to uh, you know, to pay them, uh, you know, a fee all the time just to take a new course or whatever. You know, it's up to you. You can uh, obviously do that, but the, the main thing is that we put the power back in your hands. Now, a lot of students say, well, Steve, I don't have a strategy. I'm new to trading, or they say, Steve, I've been trading a long time, but nothing works. I'm just about at the, the end of my rope here. Well, here is probably one of our best trading packages where I want to share and show you some examples today. It's called the Dynamic Duo. And what it is is one of our best strategies in terms of consistency, strategy four, and it is uh, uh, connected and joined with the pet D. So how do we apply these? Well, let's show you some dynamic duo examples. And just to let you know that, that uh, the two techniques, uh, the three techniques, I should say, that I shared with you prior where uh, we are either above or below the 50 period moving average and closing the top or bottom 25 percent. Those are two of the main rules of strategy number four. OK, so these are all things that we actually use in our personal trading. Let's look at BCR here, okay? Someone looking at this would say, well, absolutely no trend. Uh, the guys in the chat room I, I go to don't like the stock because they say it's just an arranged market. Wait till it breaks out. Uh, you know, you don't want to do anything and may go be in this range for a long time, okay? That's, once again, the way 99.9% .9 of most traders trade. But the first thing we tell our students is add the 50-period moving average. And then ask yourself, where is price in relation to the 50? Price is above, right? So what is the overall trend? The overall trend is up. And if the overall trend is up, what are we going to do? We're only going to be looking for buy setups. We're not even going to consider selling anything. So unlike a chat room or some guy on TV, we know what side of the market to be on, on the long side. But we still have to apply some structure. Now we find here a bar that is above the 50 and closes in the top 25% of its range and the last setup rule, which I can't divulge because of part of, you know, a part of the actual strategy uh, is met. The requirements are met for the last rule. So this generates a valid strategy number four buy signal. Here's the only problem, though. You know, we're not going to tell you that every trade works out. Wouldn't you like a little bit more confidence when you go into the trade? Well, sure. All you have to do then is then add the dynamic duo of the pet D in strategy four. And you see that that buy signal was colored green. So that gives you the confirmation to take the trade. And you could have gained 11 points in the next two weeks. OK. How about ROP? Now, this is a little bit more advanced trade, but it's, it's still a valid uh, trade. As you can see here, for the beginning of this setup, we were initially below the 50 period. So we're looking for sell signals. But we have one bar that closed entirely above the 50 period moving average. So what is that telling us? It's telling us that even with just one bar, this is a little bit more advanced, but just with one bar, the overall trend is up. Just with one bar. I know, uh, you know, we say anywhere from three to five bars is a little bit more consistent, but if you're a more aggressive trader, you could still apply that. Now, the strategy has generated a buy signal because we close in the top 25% of its range. We close above the 50 period moving average. So all the rules are met and a buy signal is generated. In order to gain more confidence, all we have to do is add the pet D. And as we can see here, the pet D colored the bar green. So all systems go, we wanna take the trade and ROP gained 12 points in three weeks. And if you missed that, don't worry. There's always more trades to take along the way. As long as a nice trend is underway, strategy four and the pet D will continue to generate setups. Now we look at CCI here. Once again, people would say, Steve, this is a sideways market. Don't do anything. But we ask ourselves, well, not really, because where is price in relation to the 50 period moving average? Price is above. And we also have a bar that closes in the top 25% of its uh, range there. And lastly, the last rule of strategy number four has been met. So this generated a buy signal. But in order to really feel confident, we add the pet D. And as we can see, the bar that was a buy signal, the bar that generated the buy signal is colored green. So that gives us the confidence to take it. And look what happened. The stock gained 15 points in two months. Now, obviously, you know, there, uh, there was really a nice, strong, bullish move in this stock. We didn't know. Remember, we took all our information from roughly only about 10 bars going sideways. 
So the market, along with the pet D, tells you what you need to know, and that's the beauty of these things and the synergy together. You have structure with strategy four, and you have the pet D telling you, translating with you what the market most likely wants to do. So you oftentimes get these setups in advance of a major bullish move. And as I stated, once a nice trend is underway, strategy four and the PET-D, our dynamic duo, will generate a lot more easily identifiable signals. Now, here's a, 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 an interesting setup here. Looking at this older chart in DUK, someone would say, well, Steve, this is rolling over. I mean, this thing has been going higher. It's make, made a top here. The volume didn't confirm it on that last high. Okay, so I'm thinking it's going to roll over. Well, you may be right, nobody knows, but we only take our signals by adding the 50 period moving average. And where is price in relation to the 50 period? Price is above. So we're not gonna short this until we get three to five bars closing below if we wanna be conservative, okay? So we're only looking for buy setups. And guess what? We're above the 50 and we have a bar here that closes in the top 25% of its range. So it also meets all the requirements of the strategy for buy signal. So we have just by itself, a strategy for buy signal. Very high, consistent uh, setup. But to give us even more consistency, to confirm it even more, to give us more confidence, we add the PET-D. And we see here that even when price was below the 50, all the bars have been green. So, you know, a rollover and, uh, you know, some type of, uh, you know, top has not been made at all. The market is still telling us through our translator that it wants to go higher. So this is the only thing we listen to. We don't listen to news. We don't listen to chat rooms. We only listen to the market because it tells you everything you need to know. And the stock went up eight points in the next month. Took a little while to get going, but you wouldn't have lost any money being long. You would have lost money trying to short this, thinking a top was in place. Now, here's another example of how someone could say, well, there's no range here or we're really look, maybe we're making some type of a bottom possibly. You know, this is really good support. So uh, either way, no one would think, well, there's a top in place because we have had, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight consistent closes below the 50 period moving average. So that's more than enough information to tell us that the overall trend is up, down. And we also have a bar that closed in the bottom 25 percent of its range. So this was at the beginning of the year, our strategy generated a sell signal. In order to give us more confidence at the beginning of the year, we added the PET-D and we see that all the bars have been red. So now the market, along with our structure, is in totally in sync. It's telling us that this most likely is going lower and the stock quickly went down. But guess what? If you had stayed in for the long haul, was there support here? Well, a lot of people thought there was, but we're still below the 50 and the stock actually dropped 125 points in a month. So even if you had just shorted, say you purchased the puts on LinkedIn and it went down uh, in this time period at the beginning of the year, uh, I know the stock has changed now, but, but say perhaps right now, looking at this older chart, you could have made you know maybe five points on a quick trade. And if you'd like to stay in for the long haul, well, I would have definitely got out at 100 points. I don't think I would have stayed in much longer. So you would have been okay. Now, even though this is a great way to trade with our dynamic duo, some of the best trades are the ones you don't take because I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that every setup works, but this is how the dynamic duo can protect you. For example, in this uh, older chart of S FSLR for solar, we're above the 50, so we're only looking for buy setups, right? And we have a bar here that closes in the top 25%, and our strategy number four, our most consistent strategy to date, generated a buy signal. So let's say uh, you're sitting there thinking, boy, okay, well, all I really need is strategy four because look at this really nice pullback. I'm probably gonna really make a nice trade on this. We're probably gonna go back to the old highs. Who knows, we may go higher. I'm really excited about this. I don't really need the pet D to tell me. Well, that's not really true because this is how powerful these two are when they're in conjunction with each other. Remember, in order to take a signal with the dynamic duo, you want that bar to be colored green. So let's add the pet D. Well, the pet D did color green. So you're given the green light to go ahead and take it. And you did have a nice trade. So that's great. Okay. And you say, well, you know, once again, I don't really need this. Uh, all I need is the strategy because, or my strategy, as long as I'm above the 50, that's really all I need. Well, okay. Guess what? 
Here was another signal that was generated. Now, what color is this signal? It's red. So even though you may have just you know, taken a, a strategy set up uh, because it's above the 50 and the bar closing the 25%, it's not enough these days. You need to have the market confirming that it's gonna go higher. And right now, based off our dynamic duo, it's telling us that even though we're above the 50, even though we close in the top 25%, this buy setup is a faulty one. It's not a very strong one because it's going against the short-term direction of the market. The market is telling us it wants to go lower. So we wouldn't take this. We would advise all of our students not to take this. And this is how it would have kept you out of a lot of trouble. So some of the best signals are not only the ones that make you money and are prosperous, but some of the best ones are the ones that keep you out of trouble. Now, a lot of people like to intraday trade, okay? So let's look at a one minute chart of Apple. Now we don't have the 50 period moving average plotted here, but someone looking at this in hindsight would say, well, boy, how could I take an advantage of this? You know, this great move here in Apple. How, you know, how would I know? It's easy to look back in hindsight, but how would we know in advance? Well, we add the 50 now and we see that, well, you would have known at least to be long, you're not going to short it, so you right away you cut off half of your uh, you know uh, propensity for for trading on the other side. You're not going to try and pick a top. You're only going to try and look for buy setups, regardless of what strategy you want to use. Now, if you wanted to use strategy four, well, there was a buy signal generated right here. Okay, we're above the 50. We close into the top 25%. And if we added uh, the pet D, the pet D colored it green. So you can see these techniques work just as well for intraday trading. You could have gotten in right at the beginning of that long bullish run up to the upside. Now you can apply the same intraday rules, uh, you know, for going lower. Once again, in hindsight, someone would say, well, you know, how would I have known on this 15 minute chart of Facebook, we we're going to go much lower? Well, first of all, you don't have to even purchase anything. All you have to do is apply the 50 period moving average to know that the overall trend is down. So why would you, you know, even think that uh, it was a good idea to buy Facebook. So you're already on the right side of the market once you apply the 50. Doesn't matter if we're looking at a daily or weekly or a 15 minute time frame. it's all the same. And then we look for bars that close in the bottom 25%. And then we just match up the other rules of strategy number four and look at all the sell signals that were generated. Now, if you really wanted to confirm them, you add the pet D and each and every one of these sell signals was colored red. Now, how about market timing? I want to show you an older chart, but show you how you don't have to just apply this to stocks or to futures or currency pairs. You can apply it actually to indices to give you an idea on what the market wants to do. So in other words, if a buy signal or a sell signal is generated on an index, well, don't you think that will give you a great idea of what the market wants to do? Let's look at this older chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. As we can see, we have four buy signals generated by strategy number four, okay? They're all valid buy signals. They all met the rules. And this signal, this one and this one, the first three were all confirmed by the pet D. They were all colored green and they all went up substantially, anywhere from 500 to 1,000 points higher in the Dow. Now, our last buy signal was generated and met all the rules of the strategy, but what color is it? It's colored red by the pet D. So at this point, even though the last three prior signals were confirmed, the pet D is not confirming this. So at this point, you would say, well, you know, maybe the uptrend is over for the market. Maybe it's time to get out, or at least maybe I'll move my stops up and look what happened, okay? So this is a great way also to use it as a market timing tool. You can use it on the NASDAQ, on the, the S&P, uh, on the uh, Russell 2000, it doesn't matter. Also works with news. Now, a lot of people are always saying, well, Steve, none of this stuff will work if a news event comes out because, you know, if you're on the wrong side, you're on the wrong side. Well, that, that's true. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you that, you know, this will guarantee that news will never hurt you. But it's been my experience over the last 40 years that oftentimes because of the techniques we teach you, that the market tells you in advance what it wants to do or what's happening. And so oftentimes if there's a news event with a large gap to one particular direction, you're on the right side. Now, once again, not guaranteed, but it will often help you be there prior to a news event. For example, here's an old news event that's last year in Hershey. Okay, Hershey rejects the takeover and the stock soars. Okay, so you see in the bottom, the offer uh, sent Hershey stock skyrocketing as much as 21% higher on the day. So 
that's the news. Now, if you didn't know about it, or let's say you were short the stock, or, or let's say you got out too early, you're thinking to yourself, boy, how did I, you know, it, the news always messes up my trading. There's no way I can compete with news events. I'm always on the wrong side, or I miss it. Well, here's the actual chart of Hershey coming into that news announcement. You see how the stock just gapped up tremendously, or didn't gap up, just uh, continued going up higher on that news announcement. And this is where people always play the victim role, saying like, well, how did I miss that? Boy, how come I can't get involved in that? Well, you can. The only trouble, the reason why you're not getting involved in scenarios like this is because you're listening to outside sources. And trust me, from, take it from someone who used to do that, they're usually wrong. And these are the things that put you on the wrong side. They get you in other issues or other equities or you're doing something and then, you know, you wind up missing what you originally may have wanted to do or you never even notice it. But what, what's the first thing we did here? We added the 50 period moving average. So we knew as far back as a month or two earlier that Hershey was on only uh, to be looked at as a buy because it was on the uh, upper side of the 50 period moving average back here. We had three to four consecutive closes back here in uh, May and early June. So we knew back here that we're only going to be a buyer if we're looking at this stock. OK, next, if we know strategy four or I should say the pet D, we apply the pet D and we see that the pet D is confirming this. The majority of the bars are green. All we had to do was add our structure, and these were all strategy for buy signals. So I don't want to hear my students ever play the victim role and say, boy, how come I missed that or the news got me? Because oftentimes the tools that we share and reveal to all of our members put you in something in advance of the news. So even though it's not guaranteed, it's been my experience that the market oftentimes will give you signals in advance and which will give you opportunities. All right, so let's recap before we go to any questions that you may have. The four techniques. First one, the most important one, always plot the 50 period moving average. You saw me plot the 50 period moving average on a 15 minute time frame. You saw me plot it on a one minute time frame. You saw me plot it on a daily time frame. It does not matter. And I know probably one of the first questions I'll get would be, uh, and this is what I, uh, you know, and everybody get from my students is that, well, Steve, what happens if I'm trading an hourly chart and on the hourly, the uh, uh, price is below the 50, but on the daily, the price is above the 50? What do I do? Here's my standard answer because this is the way I trade. I'm not even looking or concerned with a higher time frame. If a signal is generated on the hourly, that's all I'm looking at. Okay? I don't care what the daily is doing. I don't care what the weekly. Once again, it has been my experience that there is no consistency in trading two time frames to be in sync with each other to, you know, to get you a higher level of success. You know, the only thing that that has done with me is, is, is keep me out of really good trades because I waited while waiting for them to line up and be in sync. I missed a great opportunity because they never lined up and the signal I got uh, generated was a, a winner. So. I always tell my students, listen, if you fully believe in that, go ahead. I'm not going to tell you not to apply a higher time frame, but it is in no way required. If you're looking at a 10 minute time frame, all you're concerned is, is where is price in relation to the 50 period on that 10 minute chart? There's no need to look at a different chart, a different time frame. Why overcomplicate and confuse your trading? Trade the chart that the signal is generated on. OK, so always plot the 50 period moving average and only you're only required to trade that that chart. Now, if you get a buy signal, whatever strategy you're using, whatever technique, you'll have a high level of consistency if whatever bar that signal was generated on closes in the top 25%. Why? Because it's the market telling you that it most likely will continue, okay? Now, if your price is below the 50 period moving average and the price closes in the bottom 25%, well, that's a valid signal, whatever strategy you're using to go short. Because the market is telling you it most likely wants to continue and you're on the right side. You're going, you're, you're, you're in sync with, uh, with what the market wants to do. So these three techniques are all highly powerful, extremely simple, and you can start applying them today if you want, as soon as we conclude this presentation. But the most important one, in my opinion, is the pet D. Always confirm with the pet D because in my nearly 40 years of trading, it's the pet D that has helped me so much for being in sync with the short-term trend. So when I add it in conjunction with all these other techniques, I really increase my odds for consistency in whatever market or time frame I'm trading. 
So as we go to uh, conclusion here, ask yourself, do you think any of these edges I just helped you with could have helped your trading this past year? Now remember, we're coming towards the end of the year. It's October and just a, you know, a matter of a few uh, moments, it'll be November and December. You know, you know how fast the, uh, the uh, uh, calendar dates move at the end of the year. So ask yourself, are you anywhere near where you thought you would have been trading at the beginning of 2016? I can honestly say that most likely most of you aren't. This is what most traders do. We make all these hopes and dreams and wishes on where we want our trading to be. But by the time we get to the end of the year, I would say the majority of traders never meet or even come close to those goals. OK, so here's your chance to get on board with the techniques and strategies that have stood the test of time, that have a high level of consistency. You know, invest in yourself, educate yourself instead of, you know, relying so much on thinking, well, this guy knows what he's doing. This guy says he has a great system. This guy has a great strategy. I'll do whatever he says. You know, invest in yourself, you know, educate yourself so that you can make your own trading decision. So here's what we're offering you today. We're offering you our dynamic duo package. This is a great special for all the attendees, hopefully to kick you <laughs> on board for next year. I know 2017 is right around the corner and just to kick you in gear for next year so that you'll finally get on that road to consistency. You're going to get instant course access, okay, to strategy number four, detailed instructions, upwards of 20 videos. In the course, I teach all the entries, all the exits, and all the stops, okay? So you're going to have variables of different ways to enter, different ways to exit, different ways to stop. Then we work together as a team to figure out what works best for you, okay? You'll get signal alerts, okay, telling you when these are for educational purposes when a signal has been generated. But you're also going to get the Pet D, all right? And with the Pet D comes four Pet D trading techniques, all right? Different ways to apply it and use it. Now, remember, this includes both the add-ons, so you will be able to get with Strategy 4 some type of indication on your platform when a buy signal has been generated. But that's just for educational purposes only because we want you to know when a signal has been generated so that you can uh, understand and see that you're in sync with the rules. But ultimately, you're going to learn the rules through my education so that you can spot it on your own. You're also going to get the add-on for the Pet D. It's going to automatically color your bars green or red so that you'll know instantaneously if you are uh, the short-term term is uh, market is going up or down. You'll get your translator for the market. And lastly, you'll get nearly 40 years of mentoring correspondence with me. I'm your instructor, and you can contact me via email anytime you'd like to ask me a question concerning any of this. Now, as we said, Included with this are learning tools. And even though a lot of people rely on these, remember, this is not something that we want to turn into a crutch, but we do provide you with signal service, okay? So this is our two-for-one attendee special. Here's what you're going to receive. First of all, remember, this can be applied to the futures as well. I know I didn't spend a lot of time covering that, but if we look at this chart of the E-mini here, the same rules that I uh, apply to strategy four for stocks can be applied to trading a 10-minute chart of the E-mini. We're above the 50 period moving average. Both of these buy signals uh, closed in the top 25% of their range. So those are the two rules that you already know about. And then the final rule, which I can't divulge right now, but the final rule has been met. And so these are both generated as buy signals. But now you're going to have the pet D to confirm them and you'll see that all the bars have been colored green. In fact, the bars were green well before we started even going up. They were green below here. So now you have the confidence to day trade the futures and the futures went up 40 points in two days. That's $2,000 per contract. Now, remember, we show you different ways to exit. You could have exited. A lot of our members say, Steve, I just want to get out with one point. That's great. Others say, Steve, I want to stay in as long as possible. That's great, too. We show you how to do that. The only thing that's not great is when you try and copy someone. So we give you all the information and then let you decide what meets your needs and what makes you feel comfortable. And look at all the other buy signals that were generated if you miss those first two. How about the Forex markets? We know we have a lot of currency pair traders now. Well, let's look at the Canadian dollar. Here's a weekly chart. We haven't talked about weekly charts that much, but the same rules apply. We're above the 50. We close in the top 25% and the pet D is colored at green. So this is a dynamic duo, perfect setup to go long and it generated 800 pips in three months, or over $8,000 per lot, okay? Once again, it's up to you. If you wanted to get out with maybe a 50 pip gain, that's great. If you wanted to get out with 200, 300, or try and squeeze as much as possible, we show you the ways in which to do that. 
Now here's the extra added bonus I was talking about. We don't want this to turn into a crutch. So this is just for uh, you know a shortened time for educational purposes. We will send you email alerts. Here's one that happened last month. As you can see here, this is what you would receive. Uh, this was received the night of the third for entry on the fourth. Uh, DVN circled in green was a buy signal for strategy number four. We tell you where to enter, your basic format for stop placement, your basic format for exiting. And as you can see here, once again, uh, we don't have the 50 plotted, but it is above the 50. We close in the top 25% of its range. And if we add the pet D, even though the majority of the bars prior to it are red, that bar is green. So that's all we need. That's all we need to know to have the confidence to go long DVN. And the stock generated eight points in the next three weeks. Okay. So these are actual signals that our members have taken. These are actual email alerts that we send out to our students. And trust me, a year from today, you will have wished you became a member of this course because we have so many students that, you know, that finally come on board as members. We have members in over 106 countries around the world in virtually every state in the country in the U.S. And so many of them tell us through their testimonials like, boy, Steve, I wish I would have heard of you guys sooner because I just spent tens of thousands of dollars on stuff that doesn't work. And I've wasted so much time, so much effort. I really wish I would have heard from you to, uh, earlier because I would have, wouldn't have lost so much money and I've, I could have actually been on my own now by rather than relying on someone else to tell me what how to trade. So this is a great, great package. If you put these two together, the dynamic duo, both of them individually, if you purchase them separately, would cost you over $3,200, I believe. That's how expensive they are in terms of uh, you know other strategies we have because they're so full of information and so powerful, but we're giving you a two for one attendee special. All right. We are discounting the price greatly to a one-time fee of $14.95 with $97 per month for a limited time only. Or if you want to have a flat fee and purchase the course, uh, purchase both courses, I should say, we're dropping the price down to $24.95. But guess what? We're also going to give you payment plans. So if you can't come up with the sums for these, you can construct some type of payment plan so that you can still be on board and start off 2017 on that road to consistency. So here's how to do it, how to become a student of mine, how to take advantage of all the great things I share with you today. Contact Pro Trader Strategies. They handle all of my marketing for my courses and all of our instruction. They're the ones who can fill you in with tons of information. You can email them. You can call them directly at area code 310-598. 6677. But probably the best thing to do is uh, to uh, cut and paste that uh, link you see at the very bottom there. That's not a live link, but that will take you directly to the sign up page. Now, if you want more information about payment plans, let's say you'd like to come in with a smaller lump sum and devise some type of payment plan, they can do that. So then you would have to probably call them. That would be much better than to call them directly. There's no obligation. You can speak to one of their trading consultants and they can put together a payment plan for you. So you can be my student as early as today and we can be corresponding uh, very quickly. I'm going to leave this information up here so that you can uh, you know, get the phone number or uh, copy down the uh, link at the bottom or copy and paste that, I should say, because it's not a live link. And I'll take any questions you may have. Um, let's see here. AIG asks, uh, price must be below or above the 50 period moving average on every time, uh, time frame to go long or short? Yes. Uh, I'm sure you probably asked that before I went into it. But yes. So in other words, we're, you know, if you want to, as I stated earlier, if you want to, uh, you look at two different time frames. You're more than welcome to do that. It is in no way required or even suggested in any of our courses to ever do that. I haven't used that type of technique in over 30 years because it didn't help me at all. But some of our students swear by it, so that's fine. All that is required is that once you become a student and have the dynamic duo or any strategy we teach, if you're looking, let's say, at a 10-minute chart, if a signal is generated on that and you're above the 50 it's a buy signal that's all we're looking at we don't care about another time frame so we're just looking for price to be above the 50 on that 10 minute or 15 minute time frame so we just suggest whatever time frame you're trading that's what you ask yourself where is price in relation to the 50 that's it you don't need to overcomplicate by looking at different things and adding more and more things onto your trading plate that's how you most traders fail because their trading plans are overcomplicated. 
uh, I often say uh, that the same thing that my mentor said to me some 40 years ago. And then he said, Steve, it is the easiest thing in the world to overcomplicate your trading plan. Anyone can do that. It, you, you can be trading for 40 years or 40 minutes. It doesn't matter. You can add as many things to your plan as you'd like. And for some reason, it gives us this sense that the more complicated it is, the more valid it will be. And it's been my experience that it's exactly the opposite because what they finally said was they said it's the easiest thing to overcomplicate your trading, but it's the most difficult thing to simplify it. But once you simplify your trading, that's when you get onto that road to consistency. So that's what we teach. It's about stripping away all these things, conventional wisdom that we've all been taught that are supposed to work, support and resistance, uh, volume, uh, different time frames for finding the trend, news, uh, chat rooms, blogs, things of that nature. And you know, if they're supposed to work so great, then why aren't upwards of 80% of all traders successful? Why is it the opposite that 80% of all traders fail? So it could it be that those things are actually not worth their their weight in uh, you know in trading. They, they they just don't give you anything to work with. So once I started stripping those things away from my trading plan, because trust me, uh, believe me, I used to rely on all those things. If you looked at my trading screen some 30 years ago, there was maybe 40 indicators plotted. I was looking at every major news event that came out. I was uh, following. We didn't have blogs or chat rooms then, but I was following every uh, subscription service. And it still didn't make me any money. So it took a lot of courage, but ultimately I let go of all those things. And that's when my trading started to become consistent. So that's what we instill. The same thing that changed my trading, they are the same things that I teach my students, okay? So to answer your question, a long uh, <laughs> answer there, only uh, view the chart that you're trading. And that's what you have to relate the 50 period moving average to, okay? Uh, Jake is asking, how do you get in a long candle as you showed in Hershey? Well, you know, that's in the course, Jake. I don't want to give away all the rules to the course, but our students, we have a number of different entry techniques. Uh, you can enter on that day at the close of that bar, if you'd like, if you're a more advanced trader. Uh, the standard format is entering on a specific technique the next day. That's our standard basic format. But, you know, once again, we're not telling you, you know, this is not a signal service telling you exactly how to trade, what to do. We're giving you all these different options and variables. We want to put the power back in your hands because, as I stated, the only way I have found traders become consistent is by trusting themselves and making their own decisions. So I'm not going to tell you you have to enter this way. This is the only way. That's just, you know, that would go against our philosophy entirely. But you can enter at the close of that bar once all the rules have been met on that candle. You can enter the next day off a specific technique we have. You can enter by placing a lower limit to get uh, a, 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 a smaller price, uh, you know, entry. It's up to you. There's lots of different ways, okay? Uh, Joe asks, how do you develop a list of stocks? Well, what we usually say, Joe, is because, you know, there are literally thousands of signals being generated by Strategy 4. Strategy 4 is such a great strategy. It's always generating uh, signals, uh, okay? So there's just far too many to uh, to see on a nightly basis. What we advise all our students is rather than uh, come up with a list of stocks is just to, to look over uh, and, and get maybe a, a, a basket of like say 10 to 20 stocks to start out with. And those can be in range from anywhere that meet your capital needs. You know, In other words, if you only have so much capital, you're not gonna be wanting trading $200 stocks. And so things that are in your price range, things that you're interested in, and then just watch those 20 stocks per night and there will be signals generated. That's what we say, okay? That, that's a, a quick, easy way to do it. Then as you become more and more advanced, you can go explore and look at other baskets or other uh, indices and things of that nature, okay? Uh, question, is the PETD a 534 crossover? No, the, first of all, the PETD is a proprietary uh, tool that I learned on the floor. Uh, at the time when I learned it, we used to call it the formula because it was a formula we had to we had to actually calculate. Uh, but now because of high speed uh, computers and programmers, we don't have to calculate anything. We programmed it into a color bar tool. Okay. And I know everyone in the world, if you go on uh, online, everyone has a different way of figuring out what the pet D is. And some people think it's based on this. Others say this. Everyone thinks they know what it is. And you're suggesting it's a five, what are you saying, 534 crossover? I guess that's a moving average crossover. It's not based on any of that. And um, it's based off momentum. That's all we can divulge because there's such strong interest in the pet D coming from institutions and, and companies that may want to purchase it or lease it. 
that we don't want to give it away, uh, okay? But here's what the beauty is. The beauty is not in knowing what the pet D is based off of. The beauty is in knowing the correct way to apply it. Now, if someone can figure out what the formula is based on, great, but I can almost guarantee them that they'll lose money because they won't apply it properly. They'll think it's a system. They'll think it's a trading strategy, and they say, oh, I got a couple of green bars, so that means I buy at the market. Well, you couldn't be further from the truth. That's not what our buys are based off of. Remember, it's a short-term trend identifier, okay, an early trend identifier. But you have to have some structure, and that's where the strategy comes into play. The strategy gives you the structure. The pet D just confirms if you're in sync with the short term, okay? But most people won't use it that way. And so it's the instruction of someone who's been using it for nearly 40 years that is the value uh, behind the pet D, not what the formula is based off of. So it wouldn't matter if you knew it or not. I can guarantee you that most likely you would lose money. Yeah, most people think the pet D is a system. It, it couldn't be further from the truth. It has nothing to do with a system. It's a short-term trend identifier, but probably the best trend identifier I've ever seen in my nearly 40 years of trading, okay? So listen, these are two great, great packages. Now, if you're interested, here's the time to take advantage of that because it's discounted and we also have payment plans. We have great payment plans, you know, because probably the next time you see us, it'll go back up to one time fee of over $3,000. And I know a lot of you can't come up with $3,000. So why not take advantage of a, a short-term payment plan and then be able to uh, pay it off, you know, and it's, but you can only do that in the next couple of days. Now, a lot of people wonder, well, where can I apply this? Okay, Steve, I'm interested, but will it work on my platform? Strategy four and the PET D, all of the indications and the color bar changes can be applied to MT4, TradeStation, MetaStock, NinjaTrader, Sierra Charts, Interactive Brokers, FCXM, and Thinkorswim users. What they can do is a little bit different, but they use the free stock data to run a free NinjaTrader chart. So in other words, we're just splicing the data from uh, think or swim because they won't allow us to put the uh, charts or the pet D on their charts. So that's okay. They've allowed us to splice the data and we just apply it to a free ninja platform, which we give to you. So that's all you have to do. Okay. So we take uh, our tech support handles the entire thing. It's free. There's no extra charge for that. If you happen to use think or swim, they'll set you all up and you can be up and running uh, ASAP. Okay. We have a great tech support department. They can do that for you. Uh, they can manually set it up for you and show you how to apply it. So lots of ways to use it. There's no more excuses anymore. You have a great, great discount. You also have uh, you know, all the different platforms you can apply to. So this is really a great way to start 2017. As I stated earlier, a year from today, you'll be kicking yourself for not purchasing this because the price may even be closer to 5,000 at that time. That's how popular these uh, platforms are. And I think, one of the most important things about this is that I don't think a lot of other websites can talk about is that you're getting 40 years of experience of using these as your personal mentor. So I'm in contact with you. I'm there with you every step of the way. So any questions you may have, any things of difficulty you don't really understand, I'm right alongside with you trading. So take it from people, go on uh, Pro Trader Strategies website, look at the testimonials, people that have finally uh, gotten their trading to be consistent. Ask yourself, would you like to start out 2017 that way? Great way to start out is right now, okay? So in conclusion, here's all the information you need. Remember, if you want to go to that live link, if you look on your chat box, they have posted the live link. So all you have to do is click that on and we'll take you automatically to the sign-up page. But if you'd like to discuss a payment plan, talk with someone at ProTrader Strategies and you can work with them and have a, a payment plan set up, contact them at calling that number as you see right there on your screen. In conclusion, I want to thank you so much for attending today. I hope you got something out of this informative and educational presentation with the techniques I shared with you. And I look forward to all of you becoming members of the Dynamic Duo course, but most especially, I look forward to all of you becoming students of mine, okay? So thank you so much for attending. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.